So, what a mess the BBC has found itself in. Let's talk to Ron Little, columnist at The Sun and The Times, of course. He's got a column in the paper today. Um, you've also written a piece recently about how the BBC is managing to sort of uh, destroy itself, Ron. Uh, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Mike. Nice to be here, yeah, mate. Thanks nice for having to, me. Nice to see you. Now, you were on Newsnight last night, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, well, I mean, they 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 make me vomit, to be honest. <laughs> it's in a right. very odd place, isn't it? I can't put it any other way. They have the effrontery to have a go at the sun over the extraordinarily responsible and measured way the sun did its investigation. Mm. You know, the, the sun did nothing whatsoever wrong. No. But they, they try to have a go at that. At the same time as bringing up, once poor Hugh Edwards has been outed, by his missus, yeah. bringing up the fact that a few employees at the BBC were told, I really like your dress, or something like that, or, 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 he, or he will have sent them a message saying, you look nice today, with a kiss at the end of it. Yeah. That is not exploitation. It's not threatening. It might be a bit, Ugh. I mean, the way to deal with it is to say, get stuffed, you Welsh idiot. Right. It is not. It is not something that you should complain about, moan about, gripe about. And it's certainly not something that, you know, if you're Hugh Edwards, who's clearly not in a very happy situation at the moment, uh, to pile on top with these, this spurious garbage. Uh, I, I, it's just... It, but they, it's a they, kind of schizophrenic get, approach, isn't it? It's a schizophrenic approach yeah, to journalism. It's a because on, approach. on the one hand, I they're mean, saying the sun shouldn't have done the story, but here they are doing the story yeah. here they are doing the story and adding it adding to it with spurious rubbish you know there was nothing wrong with the son's investigation which was basically about uh, uh, um, mum and dad who were worried about uh, their offspring's relationship their very young offspring's relationship with a f big bbc figure uh, that, that seems to be legitimate because the bbc didn't get back to them right <laughs> didn't take the complaint seriously uh, but, but and, so, and didn't even tell anybody senior at the BBC by the looks of it. Well, no, the complaints unit didn't even bother telling the director general that their most lauded and 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 adored superstar of a news presenter was under the cost for 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 this kind of investigation. Mm. It, it it beggars belief that you wouldn't do that. Right. Uh, and you know, I was I was invited on the Nicky Campbell show earlier today mm. to defend the Sun. And I said, defend the sun from what? Right. Yeah, and I told them to boil their heads. Quite uh, right. Yeah. Uh, uh they, they, they infuriate well, me. Well, the, the previous yeah. day's uh, subject of, uh, of, of, of Nicky Campbell's show was, is this anybody else's business? Um, yeah. yes. To which the answer is obviously yes, it is. Because one... Because it's the, you're debating it. Well one, well, one, it's the state broadcaster. Two, it's the man who the BBC themselves described in news reports as the face of the BBC, which is quite a big deal. And three, there's quite a significant number of people, it would seem, who have been in receipt of, of unwanted messages from him. Now, you might say that the ones on Newsnight were not particularly uh, damning, but, but, you know, if I started sending messages to people late at night with kisses on, um, I would certainly have to be having words with what might be described as the senior HR department. Yeah, I mean, it, it's You just don't do it now. You don't. No, no it, it, but it's obviously an important story. Uh, otherwise, The Guardian wouldn't have had it on its front page, The Mirror wouldn't have had it on its front page, and the BBC wouldn't have led with it. No. <laughs> so so the, the argument that it's not a story doesn't, doesn't, doesn't hold water at all. No. No, but, but, but plainly, by talking about it and doing the story, you've made it a story. So the question, uh, of course, is it a story, of is kind of nonsensical. But tell yes, us a bit, is. I yeah. mean, where yeah. does the BBC go with all of this, though? Because it's clearly um, uh, in a bad state of affairs. It would appear um, that not only did the, uh, the original complaint not get passed on, but it would appear that nobody um, in the BBC had a clue about what Hugh Edwards was up to. But we've just been told this morning, though, in another sort of piece of breaking news, that there was some kind of investigation going on into his conduct before the Sun story even ran. Yeah, no, that's right. Apparently uh, by Newsnight. Yeah. Uh, but, but that investigation was all about that stuff I mentioned earlier, which mm. was... Hugh Edwards apparently saying you've got a nice dress on. Yeah, but I mean that I, I may mean, well be just a part of it because I know certainly um, 
we know, you and I know people in common um, who have seen messages that he's sent to other individuals who used to work at the BBC. Um, we know that because we've seen them. Yeah. Yeah, no, sure, sure. I, I mean, I, 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 you know, I, I don't know Hugh Edwards well enough, uh, I, and it's difficult to defend. I, I mean, I, th I think, and this is, I suppose, what Nicky Campbell was getting at and why I think Nicky Campbell is wrong, uh, is that there is... There, am I wrong about this? It seems to me there is something at least unseemly about paying 17 or 18-year-old yes. boys... of course. Uh, ..if it was... Uh, money to get their kit off. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I mean, we do still, as a country, kind of think that, even if, um, even if the, uh, our liberal elite would say uh, whatever gets you through the night. Well, the liberal elite uh, will say whatever gets you through the night as long as you're on their side, obviously. Um, well, indeed. If of it was course, you, you know, if it was uh, you, they'd be calling for you to be strung up for the nearest yard arm, uh, preferably on a Sunday afternoon when everybody could watch. Well, indeed, um, ditto if it was someone like Nigel Farage. Yeah. I mean, that, that's absolutely right. There would be no, uh, there would be no quarter given. Uh, and in fact, you know, I would be strung up. I mean, they, they, you know, they would, they would get their wish. There would be no outpouring of sympathy uh, at all uh, from from uh, the liberal elite. Uh, of course not. No, it, it's it's. And I, I also object to the way, particularly with this story, that uh, the, the, what you've kind of hinted at, which is that. If you don't like the BBC uh, and have your doubts about maybe Hugh Edwards, then you are entirely in favour of whatever The Sun does and whatever anyone does and, and his defenestration. Meanwhile, if you don't like The Sun, you're on Hugh Edwards' side. I yes. mean, this, this is the way the debate has been... Uh, debates go in this country. Uh, they polarise within one hour of, the, of, of, of something going on social media. It becomes a polarised issue and sense kind of flies out the window. Yes, it really does. It's quite depressing, actually, how it ridiculous is, is. The, the political discourse has become in this country. Because yeah. you have you have to be decompartmentalised. And if you believe yeah. in, you know, if you if you if you love the BBC, you also hate Boris Johnson. You know, I mean, I've read yes, right. millions of times over the last few days that you know this is all a smokescreen. This story to to talk, to take people away from the Boris Johnson phone story because everybody knows that nobody. You know, it's kind of like what are you talking about? The people you know, really saying that they are. <laughs> I mean, it's quite remarkable what people say. I mean, obviously, I spent far too much time on Twitter. I'm trying to wean myself off it, but um, but there's some of the rubbish that you read. It's quite extraordinary. Similarly, with all of the people who were named as the vic as, as the as the protagonist. You know, you know, we had Jeremy Vine, um, yeah. uh, Rylan. Uh, we had uh, Nicky Campbell himself. I mean, all these people having to come out and say it's not me. Ludicrous. Yes, it was ludicrous. Though I have to say, before we actually had the name confirmed, and, and when nobody actually knew for certain who it was, uh, the, the the most favourite introduction to a, a sentence which I heard from people I was speaking to was, "Please God, let it be," and yes. then you put in the name. Right. <laughs>